I've always wanted to draw on a car, so I thought, why not just do it? I'm kidding, this is not my car, but this is. There we go, just did it. Uh, if you wanna keep on watching, there's actually a real car that we drew on. It's a lot better than this one. So a little bit more than a year ago, I decided to allow myself to dream a little bit further. Like, what would it be like to let her on a car or a helicopter or an airplane, like maybe an A380, like the big airplanes or even a space rocket. <gasps> Now dreams are something amazing that we humans have. Because of our ability to dream, we're able to project things into the future. Things that are not existent, but we, we just dream about. We, we wish they were there. For example, electricity. Somebody thought of light that would just be like a click and light would go on. For example, Elon Musk is a big dreamer. He dreams about being able to build a civilization of this planet, and I'm so fascinated by that. Now, when it comes to lettering on a car, I had a specific idea. I dreamed of an agency reaching out to me and working with a car company to create this, this big ad, like an ad that would be running on TVs, shown on, on billboards across the city. I didn't want to harm that dream by, by trying it on my own. And I, I was waiting for the phone call. I, I really do get a little bit like a child that just believes in those little things, like hoping and waiting for someone to call you and then telling you like, hey, we got this project, we want to work with you, and we want to make this happen. I never got the call. I've actually like been, been talking with people, with photographers, with, with people that know people and, and all that, but it didn't really help. A year later, I've still been at the same point where I've been before. Nowhere. Now, waiting for a dream to happen is kind of like looking at a canvas and hoping it will turn itself into a piece of art. It doesn't just happen. I had to start somewhere, so I created a trigger. So this is part number two, creating the trigger. I needed someone to press that trigger for me because I couldn't press it on my own. I was probably too afraid or always too scared of doing it on my own. When we're talking about creating a trigger for a dream, how does that actually look like? I had a milestone coming up soon and it was 300,000 followers on Instagram. That was a big number for me, and it was something that I wanted to celebrate with my followers. Now, when I will hit 300,000 on Instagram, I will do the car lettering. I use that as my trigger. So what I did is I communicated that to all my followers. Everyone would know that if this trigger would be set, then I would have to do the next thing. And by now, I had no way out. That leads us to part number three, accountability. Closing in fast on 300,000, I texted my friend Matt and told him that it could happen any day now. On September 9th, the trigger was pulled. Pulled? Triggered? The trigger was triggered. But anyway, it happened. I hit 300,000 followers and to any of you who are following me on Instagram, thank you so much for following me. It's, it's a huge milestone for me and I just, yeah, anyway, let's, that's just a in-between thing. Um, the next day, so on Monday, I, I met up with Matt and we started to plan this thing out. And to my surprise, he actually told me that we're just gonna do this on Thursday. I wasn't really ready for this, but at the same time, I knew it was good for me. I had no longer time to think, to plan, or to find excuses to get out of the whole thing, which was a really good thing at that time. Like, he made sure that we had an awesome location, and thanks to him, we got a really dope car, and it was already looking more like what I had imagined than I've actually ever thought I could do on my own, because I didn't have to do it on my own. I had a friend helping me in that. Now let's look at what happened and how we made this possible. We're at Pelbet Rossi's, we're trying to plan the whole shoot. Yeah, we are, I guess we're conceptualizing it and trying to figure out what it would look like and what we need to shoot it that way, right? Exactly. All this prep work, let's get it out of the way today so we can focus on actually yeah. creating something on Thursday. I'm ready to leave the house, getting Matt first, then we'll drive up, we'll get the car, drive back, and that's where we're gonna set up everything. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm pretty pumped about this.
We are almost done with this hood. And I got mats to help me out here because I've been on it for over an hour. Easily an hour and a half now. Hour and a half. And yeah, we're running out of time to do the whole other part. But look at this. This looks really, really good. Like coming along really, really well. Super excited, this is, I can't believe it's almost done. Like We've got like 15 minutes to take all the photos that we want. Yeah, so basically we didn't, we weren't able to completely finish it. It's, mm. it's done, it looks done, but it's not there yet. So there's plenty more we could have done. There's a whole other side we could have done, um, but we gotta stop somewhere. Honestly, super impressed, super stoked. Really happy that I got to actually draw on it as well. Dude, you did so well, thank you so much. Man, Thanks for having me. <laughs> we should do this more often. So this, this was just the whole story beforehand. Um, if you want to see all the behind the scenes, like the technical side of filmmaking and all that, go to Matt's channel. He has put out like two amazing videos about the whole thing with the time lapse capture and all that. And I just wanted to bring the whole idea and concept of follow your dreams, create triggers, and make yourself accountable to those dreams to make these things happen. Because I believe that we can dream a lot more, we can do a lot more things than we can actually believe. I have actually so many dreams that I wanna do and I don't know how to make them happen, but I'm gonna start here by saying this and I hope that you are gonna start that as well um, with all of your dreams and that you get inspired and motivated to pursue your dreams, to write them down and to actually do them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved this video. I hope it inspired and motivated you. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to make as many videos as I can. Tutorial videos, inspirational videos, motivational videos, and all that stuff. That's what you can expect from me. And just a huge thank you for subscribing and being awesome. See you guys soon.